says, I can't describe the emotions and uh, the relief to know that we're past this huge hurdle. We don't have to worry about 8 million people being exposed to a meltdown because of experimenting with a broken reactor. This has ramifications around the country. This is a seismic event in the nuclear industry. Decommissioning is going to take a long time. The waste, 100,000 years before it actually becomes safe. The bad news is the easy part is over. Keeping track of what's happening uh, with San Onofre and this power plant for the next few years it will be a lot of work. We have a lot of work ahead of us to make sure it's decommissioned properly, to make sure that the federal government, the NRC, and the state regulators come together to be focused on how to, nuke, to uh, decommission San Onofre uh, in the best way possible for the citizens. We did learn a lot about how broken the system really is. Uh, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and the in industry have over time changed things so that they really don't regulate anything anymore. It's like telling people on the freeway to set your own speed limit and tell us if you go over it. Uh, turn yourself in so we can give you a ticket. And so guess what? They don't give out many, very many tickets. Uh, in fact, they become experts at avoiding all the types of, any kind of hearing at all is like d death to these companies. They don't like hearings. And it's nearly impossible for citizens to interact with the NRC in any kind of meaningful way. Four nuclear plants have shut down. Three as a result of blown steam generator modifications. Um, and I, th I think the nuclear industry is paying close attention to what happened here today because of Friends of the Earth and because of a community of people who really care. Over eight million people that were in danger and now Edison's done the right thing and we're here much safer because of them and it was a tough decision I'm sure but they did the right thing and I hope we can work with them to create a sustainable future and say goodbye to this outdated and dangerous technology. I think the way this shaped up so beautifully was all the right parts came together at the right time and that's been the experience I've had with the right people whether they're legal or scientists or just connected with PR and just heartfelt mothers and fathers that worry about their children. Everyone did the right thing at the right time because it was the right thing to do. And here we are today because of all these different entities coming together. And it was no nothing one particular person or group did. It was the culmination of people coming together. And this is something to rejoice for, not just people that are concerned about nuclear power, but we're concerned about the intense problems throughout the world, whether it's global warming or food production, all these things where people feel powerless. This is an example for them to feel re rejoiced. You know, people can do this when they come together. And this is just the beginning of a big change, I think. And I think it's just in time. My advice to other activists is uh, don't give up, obviously, and create those bonds that are lasting friendships. Uh, what basically our power comes from love, I think, concern for our fellow citizens and the different issues that other people have, I'm sure it has the same foundation of caring for the earth and each other. And that's really powerful. That's what brings people together and keeps them together. And you need that because there's a lot of things trying to pull you apart. And uh, fortunately we're here all together and I hope we're a good example to other people in our situation. Now we have some things ahead of us that we've got to do, really four things. We need to make sure that they decommission it properly. We need to make sure that the ratepayers are respected and that we're not saddled with all of the cost. We need to make sure that the, the workers are respected and that they're not just thrown out onto the street. The Edison should actually retrain and find them other jobs. And I think from, uh, you know, if you're shutting a plant down for safety considerations, there should be no consideration about, you know, we, we could be losing our, our jobs, this type of thing. And, and then we also need to, to look at uh, the, the changing the system that we have here, you know, so that it doesn't, we don't see this type of thing. We don't, we really need to move toward all renewables like Germany has and away from nuclear power. This, this uh, for the convenience, a little bit of convenience that we might experience today, we're putting on the backs the waste problem for 
what is basically eternity as far as we're concerned. 100,000 years is what it takes plutonium to decay down to, to 1 16th of its, of its uh, uh, you know, starting radioactivity. And 100,000 years, that's, that's eternity. I mean, it's more time than we can fathom. And what we're saying is that our children, our children's children, grandchildren, and so forth, are going to have to take care of that just because we got a little bit of power right now. We're going to have to sit here on this plant. It's going to be at least another 10 years before this thing starts to cool down and starts to become not, you know, they can take the fuel out in, I think it's, uh, a couple of years they can take the fuel out and be cool enough. In the meantime they have to actively cool it with water flowing through the cool fuel pools all the time. Uh, if there's an earthquake here and now even though they're not running the plant and the fuel pools are disrupted we would have a meltdown in those fuel pools. This is what's happening in Fukushima where, where they're having nearly, well they already have a full-on meltdown with three of the reactors uh, but there's that fuel pool, I think it's the number four, that if it drains, we're going to have a complete catastrophe on our hands with the northern hemisphere. We'll have to move down to Australia or something to get out of the radioactivity. They estimate 250 million people will die. Uh, it's just, you know, all these things you can't, you can't really get a hold of. You can't really get a hold of 100,000 years. You can't get a hold of 250 million people dying um, and that we would have to move down to the southern hemisphere. I mean it's just too much. Uh, the fact is is that you cannot turn these plants off. You cannot just turn a, a coal plant or a, you know an oil plant or a gas plant. You just turn the switch it goes off. These plants don't go off. You have to actively, they're, they're taking power in through these lines into the plant now to keep the pumps running at all times. And so it costs you, on their statements, they're showing a, a, a utility cost that's pretty high, like you know, several million dollars a year just to keep all the pumps running. San Onofre is uh, half over. Phase one is keep it shut down. Phase two is even more important because we have 1,400 tons of nuclear waste in pools. And if an uh, earthquake should take out those pools and they don't hold water, when the water's gone, the rods overheat and they ignite and they can't be put out. So you'd have the equivalent of more than a thousand Hiroshima bombs worth of radiation could potentially get exposed into California and our nation and beyond. It's just, you don't want to let that genie out of the bottle. It's, it's just something that we're going to prevent. So it's not over for you? I wish it was, but uh, really it would be foolish to think it's over when all that spent fuel is just waiting for the next earthquake. We've got a serious race against time because it would probably take five years if we hurry to deal with that issue and we know we're long overdue for a big earthquake. So here we are, you know, race against time again, but we've managed to get this far and we're encouraged by our success and we're going to take it all away. This is a movement by the people, and it's an example of how we're going to do the same thing in Diablo Canyon, and we're going to do it throughout the world. This is just the beginning.